good to have Dr. Ronna Kayeli back with us. I think last time we were over at the main studio. That's so true. This is your first time here. It's good to see you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for having me. We wanted to talk a little bit. We talk a lot about weight gain and obesity mm -hmm. for everybody, but we wanted to sort of focus on the elderly and sure. our senior citizens. Is it um, is it a danger for the elderly, and do we all gain weight as we get older? Well, um, probably about 40% of us, if any, lose weight, mm -hmm. and a good 20-25% gain weight. And African Americans tend to lose weight more than white. Mm -hmm. And gaining weight is never good. You know, whether no you're your age. No, right. no, because whether you're young or old, you still put yourself at risk to have heart disease, diabetes, um, strokes, um, high blood pressure. And you know, the more weight you gain, the more dysfunctional or disabled you end up and you end up in a nursing home mm -hmm. and then that unfortunately is high risk for problem related to nursing home and falls and repetitive admission to the hospital so it's never good to gain weight right for those who do gain weight how serious of a problem is it I mean it, it is as I said earlier I mean it, it can be a big problem there's some studies which I don't know how much to believe of that that gaining some weight may reduce your risk of uh, hip fracture because uh -huh. it um, minimize your loss of bone mass so maybe a little benefit yeah. but definitely it does not outweigh the risk of the, the risks outweigh oh, no, that of by diabetes far, by oh. far okay so what are the risks involved if an elderly person is losing weight well it really depends on are you losing weight intentionally because you know some people wanted to lose weight and that really doesn't put them at any risk than a normal population uh -huh. but if you're losing weight unintentionally for whatever underlying disease then you're at risk for problem like you know some elderly people if you have advanced lung disease or heart disease or re kidney disease and then you end up losing weight then you're at high risk for complication and death so it may be a sign that something else is going exactly, on if they're exactly. not trying. If they're not trying. If right. they're trying and they're changing their diet and exercising and losing weight, so that's that's fine. But if they're not and they're losing anyway, there's something else that going tells on. You to look further. Exactly. Whether it's malignancy or other things you right. need to look for. Let's talk about how you would treat obesity in the elderly. Um, honestly, you should treat it just like obesity in general. Mm -hmm. um, try to you know change their diet, some exercise. There are, you know, the gastric bypass or the lap band, which um, it's really case by case because mm -hmm. most of the time they cu the cutoff is around 65 or older. Mm -hmm. But I've seen cases older than that if you have to. And then um, if everything, I guess, failed, you know, sometimes they prescribe medications. You have to be careful with these, especially in the elderly with all the side effects, mm -hmm. like fenteramine and meridia and all these different things you see on TV. You have to be very careful. You would hesitate about prescribing something Ab absolutely. to help them lose absolutely. weight. Uh, just talk about their diet a little bit. What do you tell your patients as they well, age? It's just really a lot of fibers, a lot of vegetables, a lot of uh, protein, and just try to avoid, you know, a lot of carb and fried food. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what we hear. It, absolutely. I mean, it's really a yeah. diet for everyone. And if you start at young age, the right diet, the healthy lifestyle, and some exercise, mm -hmm. it becomes a habit. And then you just take it on the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. And what about exercise, though? They need to sort of be careful about what they well, do. Well, absolutely, because you know they're at risk for falls. They're at risk for joint problems. So you don't want to start with them with vigorous exercise. You know, gentle walking, aerobic, swimming. There's plenty of different exercise regimen they can do mm -hmm. without injuring themselves, and would definitely help. Um, you know, reduce their weight and reduce the risk factors for so many complications from obesity. Just move in some way. Absolutely moving. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. We all think, you know, the older I get, the harder it is to keep my weight down. What is that? Our metabolism or what is that? Uh, yeah, to some degree it is true. The older we get, the metabolism slows down and in general we slow down. Mm -hmm. You know, in er your early years, you're busy, you're running, you know, work, kids, so many things and then you retire and things slows down, including your metabolism. Right, so that's but that's really not an excuse because you still see a lot of healthy elderly. Oh, you know, absolutely, people. we do. So you said 44% lose weight. Lose weight. So the majority gain weight yeah. as we age. Yeah, them. yeah. Well, that's and the reason we wanted for to. For whatever racial reason, the white tend to be the one gaining weight, mm -hmm. and African American tend to lose weight. And we need to watch both of those. Absolutely, happening. absolutely, because they both have their own risks. Okay. Well, we thank you for coming well, today. You are so welcome. Great thank you for advice. having me. Thank you. She was running across the. River Market to get in here on time as we were all rushing in and it's good to have you. Let's Thank remind you. everybody of course about St. Vincent and uh, just a fantastic uh, hospital and all the different things they can do to uh, make sure you stay healthy.
throughout your life. So Absolutely. be sure and give them a call if you think you need to set up an appointment with a doctor there. Thank you, Dr. Raina. Thank you so, so Thank so you much. For coming in. We have a great day having her here.